Hey, brothers and sisters. How are you? It's Mags, White Buffalo Divine. Welcome to my new space. We got a lot to discuss this evening. Um, first and foremost, thank you for tuning in. It's been a crazy month to say the least and uh, does not look like it's getting any different anytime soon. Uh, I am recording this from the Midwest where the state that I am currently located in has officially closed all bars and restaurants. And uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Does that look like it's focusing you guys? Because I feel like, <sighs> hold on. Let me see if I can, there, oh, oh, okay, that's, that's a little bit better, hold on a second. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. I really was trying to decide where I wanted to take this video uh, tonight in particular because I want to be very sensitive and empathize just as much as I come across clear, concise, and filled with fight and strength. Before we get started, as always, you know I like to start off with a prayer. And uh, this is a, a White Buffalo original. <clears throat> buffalo, speaking of, represents the strength and the unity of this country in which we were founded upon many years ago. Uh, I have several reasons I've chosen the handle that I have for this channel, but I feel now more than ever to really disclose a few of the reasons why. Uh, my heart is broken right now in so many different facets, in so many different ways. And I first and foremost want to extend my deepest prayers sincerity, uh, and love to anyone out there that is truly at their, at their wit's end right now. Um, I've had several of you reach out to me the last few days for mental health guidance, um, for clarity, for words of encouragement. I myself have truly had to take a step back the last week and a half myself. If you guys remember, I was talking about Pisces season being almost unbearable with emotions, okay? Thank God on the 20th, we will officially be moving into Aries season, which is straight fire. And actually is the new beginning of the astrological year. Um, and we'll get into a reading possibly later, depending on where this goes, but let's start with a prayer. I want you all to know that I have cleared my energy. I have meditated on every single word that is coming out of my mouth. And more importantly, I am getting ready to do what I call, and several others who do what I do, an energy transference. I want you to feel my energy because there are so many of you out there that are almost depleted, okay? Bow your heads, let's pray. Father God, Holy Spirits, ancestors, and guardian angels, we humbly come before you today with the utmost gratitude and thanks. Thank you for the messages and opportunity to connect me with the individuals this video will resonate with. We appreciate all of your love and protection, the blessings you've bestowed upon us and the ones we have yet to receive. I ask that you allow only true, correct, and integrity-filled guidance to channel through me for the greatest and highest good of those receiving these words. May their development, spiritual ascension, and healing be divinely guided and lifted by whoever their God or higher power may be. I'm honored and moved to share this moment with you and ask that you please use me and the individual on the other side of this recording for the highest future abundance of all mankind that we will encounter on our individual journeys. And everybody said, amen. So my morning really started off a lot different than where my energy level is at right now. Um, I had a very factual post uh, that I did early this morning uh, that was filled with accurate 
live action numbers coming through. Um, it was uplifting. It was factual. Uh, it even referenced my mother who battled H1N1 uh, and pneumonia and almost died years back uh, compared to some of the things going on right now. What I can tell you is that people who do some of the things that I do, the other trailblazers, you yourself, I may be speaking to you, maybe you yourself are a trailblazer. We go up against a lot of pushback, of disrespect, of challenge, trying to get our strength and unity out there for those who truly need it. And when I posted my post this morning, it was removed after being blocked by Facebook. I know unequivocally my channel has been watched by the government and I'll just leave it at that. I have had videos randomly come up deleted. It was not because they were not in compliance with YouTube standards. Very much reminds me of um, kind of some of the things you see on the movie V for Vendetta, for those of you who have seen it. We don't know what the future may hold. Some of us have had an inkling for a while that something to this magnitude could possibly happen, which is why we started some of the projects that we started months ago in preparation to have church outside of church because we won't be allowed to go to church. You can have church in your own privacy of your own home. And that's what we're doing tonight. This is church. And we are all, every faith, every religion, welcome in this channel. I want to thank all of the people in the healthcare industry right now that are breaking their backs, losing their sanity, pouring their entire soul into providing and taking care of all of us. I'm pretty sure I speak for everyone who is not in healthcare when I say thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I have a very sick mother that I unfortunately am really trying to stay away from right now because of what is going on. I'm personally being affected just as much as most of you are as well. Um, personally, I also work uh, in the information technology industry where I am seeing uh, so much going on that is groundbreaking um, with the current situation. And so, oh, I got a stain on here, y'all. Oh no. Oh, dang it. That was supposed to be cute. Okay, I'm sorry. Distracted. So, thank you to the nurses, the doctors, the EMTs, paramedics, administrative staff, housekeeping staff, all of you that are working extra hours right now for all of us. We truly, from the bottom of our hearts, appreciate everything you do. To my military, active duty veterans, Wherever you are, you have so much support and love uh, as you are grounded and possibly not able to see your families, as you prepare for what may or may not happen. Um, I've never been so proud to be an American as I am today, even though Norway is uh, deeming us, I believe it was called underdeveloped uh, with how we're handling this situation. They haven't seen anything yet. Believe it. Hoorah. So, what am I talking about? Energy transference, the number one resource available to any of us is not money, it is not gas, it is not anything materialistic, it is energy. Our energy, once combined, does things like come through a battle of 9-11 as a country together. Like come through astronomical battles we go through personally in our own lives. Unimaginable things that we never fathomed may happen to us. That is what the power of our internal energy can do for ourselves and for one another. So, I say these words to anyone right now that is feeling hopeless, that is fighting despair, 
that is fighting mental health battles, fighting recovering addiction right now and not going back into an addiction because of all the stressors that are happening, to anyone who's not able to work, to those struggling to find childcare, to any elderly person out there that is fearing truly for their life and staying away from loved ones when that's the only people they wanna be with. I could keep going and going. You are not alone. And I am sending so much love, light, and prayer to each one of you tonight. And I can only ask that you take it in. So let's take three deep breaths together. Let's calm our nerves. Let's settle down a little bit. And let's do some church together, okay? In through your nose, out through your mouth. While I was doing that, I just saw three flames. Yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure, but I do wanna say, speaking of flames, I have my Sacred Heart of Jesus candle lit. And I also have our Guardian Angels candle lit as well. You are protected. These words are protected. I'm hoping these words actually stay on the internet, uh, considering what I've experienced recently. Um, you will never feel safe until you feel safe in here. No one can take that away from you. No one. The energy you are putting out there is literally a reflection of your inner reality. The more calm you stay inside, the more grounded you stay inside, the better it will be projected. Because this is no longer just about each one of us individually. This is about all of us. Community. Coming together. Humanity. You, then me. Then you, then me. That's how this is supposed to operate. So... I just want to say this is the best country ever, and I am so proud to be free, to have the ability to post things like this, to share these times with you, and let you know that you are not alone, and this shit's scary, right? Can be. Or, we're going to chin up, we're going to get through it. This is coming direct from your fighting Irish, okay? Overall energy for the collective, the vision. What have I been speaking of? Let's get one more. I was preparing you guys for those quantum leaps because I knew something was coming. I have quite literally not turned my TV on since moving in this new location, it's not even plugged in on purpose. And it does wonders for the heart. <clears throat> Something I also just want to tap in on, whether you believe in the zodiac or the astrology or the zodiac signs, there are messages pertaining to your sign, okay? So, for instance, my fellow fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it is your job as a fire sign to have courage, strength, and creation. You are the leaders. You're the trail blazers. You understand where I'm going with this? Now is your time to take that internal fire and go out there and use it. To my earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you 
are the ones that keep everyone grounded. You're logic thinkers. You understand things on a very stable level. You're always stable for the most part. We're all a little zany. It is what it is. But now more than ever, Earth signs, it is your job to keep people focused on the tasks at hand, making lists, executing. You're the organizers. Use your gifts. To my water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, you are our emotional intellect. You're the supporters, the ones who are there to make people feel loved and to give love. And we need you now more than ever to keep people focused on the passions that lie deep within them and bringing them to the surface to just love. And to my air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you're our thinkers, our analysts, our never-ending indecisive people for the better. Because if it weren't for your thought processes and your out-of-the-box thinking, there would not be enough solutions come up to fix problems, possibly like what we're going through. When you unite all of the things that I just said, we are unstoppable. Know your worth, okay? I'm gonna get a couple more cards on this. First and foremost, when we talk about the vision and the heart, if there are ever two cards to come out and talk about what I've been talking about with this community and everything we've got going on here, it's these two cards. Love, the greatest of all time, and the vision. Where do you want these two to combine moving forward? If you are not able to stay grounded in your heart, train confirmation on that one, then there can be no vision. The vision should always come back to love, to your inner being, to your higher power, whoever it may be, your loved ones, your love of self, your love of life, whatever that may be, okay? That horn just keeps blowing. What are the messages for the person on the other side of this video for their greatest and highest good, please? To help provide them with peace of mind moving forward as we all go through this together. Think of it like a long extended Christmas holiday. Everything's shut down. It's time for family, games, laughter, home workouts, catching up on movies that you've been wanting to watch, reading those books you've been wanting to read, Working some overtime from home, actually getting some stuff done. That's what this time is about. Being creative. Doing creative endeavors like this to help others, to volunteer, to donate to charity, to help one another. What are the messages? Some of you feel so lonely and scared, left out in the cold. Ten of Wands just fell out. Burdens all over the place. Woo! How about that strength coming through, though? Yep. Tending to your garden. One by one, watering it, making sure it is constantly growing. The things you can control, okay? Seeing a safe with a lock being turned, a code. Something's locked in a safe. Maybe you need to lock stuff in a safe. Wanna tell you, Queen of Coins, hello. Stability, your finances. It's time to get crafty, y'all. If you're hurting for money, now's the time to get crafty. You can do this. Don't get it twisted with the feminine or masculine. There we go. Because the Wheel of Fortune's coming in. Your luck is going to turn if you want it to. But you got to put in the work. 
Three of Wands. You got to get creative. Look how he's playing tug of war with that rope. Pulling up whatever it is out from those depths. And it's almost like there's a barrier there. And if you look at his face, he is sweating. He is literally sweating. Trying to pull that out. Some of y'all are drinking too much, by the way. So we'll just throw that out there. Hello, Temperance. What up, Sag? Alchemization. Balance. Get balanced. Refocus. Recenter. You know, we talk about ancestors a lot on this channel. They've made it through this type of stuff as well. Maybe a little bit different type of challenges, but they made it. You are here. So what are you going to do to make sure your future generations are still here? You're going to roll over? You're going to cry it out? You're going to feel sorry for yourself? Or are you going to love one another? You're going to pray for one another. The power of prayer is astronomical. Astronomical. It can't be beat. Fact. Fact. We may not be able to go to church, but damn it, we can go here. We can call one another. We can pray with one another. We can send love to one another. What do your ancestors have to say? The sun will come out again. Why? Because your medicine has arrived. For those of you that may or may not know, my initials are MD. I'm a spiritual surgeon, baby. And I've got your nectar right here, y'all. Create something new that you have never done. We're in new territory, y'all. It's time to think outside of the box because doing what we do in 22, 22 on the clock, as I say that, is no longer working. How are we going to keep each other in check moving forward as a team, as a unit? Honor your inner knowing. Your soul is talking to you right now. Your soul is trying to get you to wake up. Ace of fire, creation, strength, passion, right here. I'm also connecting with fire signs big time right now. I'll just throw that out there. It is what it is, right? Let us light the way. And when it's time to get our fire to go down a little bit, because we're exploding too much, we need them water signs to come in and douse us a little bit, right? Maybe even smother us with a little bit of earth. But when we need to get back to big, we need that air to expand, right? See how I operate off those? I could twist it and turn it every way you want for any of these signs. It doesn't matter. We have all signs in us. What don't you see coming? Manifestation. Someone's going to counseling. Someone needs counseling, boom, full self mastery, king of fire. What I just tell you about them fire signs, Sag, Leo, Aries, I've also got king of water here. Someone who knows how to, te who tempers fire and water, okay? You put a fire out with water, you evaporate water with fire. Do you see how those are interchangeable? Infinity sign goes back and forth. That is how we temper and alchemize our energy. We transmute it, okay? Also could be connecting with someone who has water and fire in their chart. Manifestation, three of pentacles. Look at him making a sacrifice of blood onto what he is planting. He is literally making sacrifices. That is what is happening right now. Now, sacrifices are having to be made for us to continue moving forward. We will come out of this. Believe that. We will come out. Tell yourself every day, 
I don't care how difficult it is right now. I am going to make it. I'm going to make it. Say it. We will not go blindly into the night. I'm hearing that for some reason. Look at all the fighting going on. Tensions are high, majorly high. But you know what? Keep your faith and control your emotions, y'all. The more you control your emotions, the less control they have over you. The less control others have over you and your reaction. We're going to go to my Ascended Masters card. This is very internal stuff. This is from the foundations of Buddhism. These cards are bottom of the deck, Satya. I'm going to read that one for sure. Notice the colors. Calm, serene, a dreamscape almost, right? Where's your dreamscape right now? Kids driving you nuts. Deadlines you still got to meet even though you're not really even going to work. Distractions all over the place. Turn your TVs off, y'all. Turn them off. You can get updates many other ways. Anyone who's ever had their freedom taken away a few times understands what's going on right now. I just heard someone cackle. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it's not, but it is. All right. Final messages for my gorgeous collective, my brothers and sisters who are stronger than them. They are giving themselves credit for. And there we go. Ashana and Ganesha, remover of obstacles. I'm going to read a couple of snippets from the book on this. If I can find it. So if you notice, there's two falcons on this card. This is talking about getting a bird's eye view. Always understanding the bigger picture of what may be going on. Not being so narrow minded. Your physical body holds the key to your involvement. But it's just the first portal. The asana you have been practicing have been preparing you for true asana, to sit in stillness with the truth. These shapes and movements have removed the cobwebs of your limiting self, creating space for the silence of your mind's forest. You are one of those who realizes the true intention of asana and the one paving the way for others to see this bodily practice is really just a way to come face to face with yourself. Continue to cultivate your practice and move deeper into its core purpose. Flow of energy in the body for evolution of the spirit. What have I been talking about this entire video? I'm going to read Ganesha as well. Which, of course, I can't find. There we go. 117. 711 may have prevalence to somebody. Signs or synchronicities involving that. Ganesha, one of my absolute faves. You are at the beginning of a new venture that is going to bring you great joy and success. Do not have fear. Ganesha has been removing the roadblocks placed before you, granting you a smooth transition into this very moment. This current moment. These roadblocks do not exist outside of you, however. They are all vitreous fluctuations of the mind represented by his vehicle. When you calm your wavering mind, you are able to overcome any obstacle. Ganesha will continue to bring you good luck, success, and harmony with the sweets of Ananda, the awareness of your true consciousness as bliss. Nobody can take away what you have the ability to create in your mind. I am sending so much love and strength to each one of you. Do not give up. We're just getting started. We got a long road ahead of us. And I will continue to pour into your cup, to praise you, to lift you up, to raise our vibrations. You are not alone. We will get through this together. 
And again, I am sending so much prayer and love and hope to every single one of you. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. The last week and a half have been life-changing for me. And um, there are no coincidences. And I am very blessed and fortunate to be here in this moment with you. To infinity and beyond. God bless America. God bless you and your families. I am praying for your health and success together as we move forward. Chin up. Get up.